With your Tackle HD Crappie Report for Bull Shoals, here's Jordan Isaacs from Freedom Fishing Guide Service. What's up guys, Jordan Isaacs here from Freedom Fishing Guide Service with your Bull Shoals Crappie Fishing Report. Uh, been a crazy week, a lot of rain, um, the wind, you know, it's that's why I'm in the truck now because it was super windy outside so I thought I'd jump in the truck and give you guys a report. Um, fishing is good, fishing is real good. Uh, the crappie are still suspended, you know, and not a lot of change as far as how we're catching them. Um, I am starting to see a few more on the the jig and a float. I am starting to catch a few more that way, and the minnow and a float, of course, with a slip float. Um, most of those fish are eight to ten foot deep, you know, on the channel swing still. I have noticed with the little bit of warm up that we've had and this little bit of rain that my fish are beginning to move toward the mouths of the creeks. Um, I found some fish uh, a couple days ago on the upper end, up around, you know, from Kadox Power Site, up in that area. I found a few fish. They were still pretty deep out there in that 20 plus foot of water, but they were suspending that eight to 10 foot. But I did notice that they had pulled closer to the mouth of the creek, um, you know, and so as this water warms up, obviously that's gonna continue to happen. Those fish are gonna continue to pull up a little closer and a little closer until eventually getting into the creeks. Um, once that water gets right. So not a lot of change on how to catch them. Um, I've noticed, you know, I'm not having to be quite as slow with my presentation, but I'm still having to go, still having to go slow, just not as slow as I was. Um, the fish are still, like I said, they're still suspended. I am starting to see a few more fish around those brush piles and around those standing timbers, things like that. Um, but they seem to be a little more aggressive now on that stuff than what they used to be. Um, that's that kind of mid lake area, you know, the, the Bee Creek, Yoakum area, all the way up to Power Site Dam, uh, kind of the same pattern for me. Um, up on the upper end of the lake from Kadok up, your water temperature is at 43 degree range. Um, your fish are still, you know, they're still kind of lethargic, but they are biting. Uh, I've noticed one significant thing I've noticed is the bite is now more of a bite than it is just a heavy, um, than it is just a heavy pool. I'll tell you one big thing that I've noticed here lately I've been really keying in on it and noticing is when you look at your screen and you see fish right on the bottom you see a big school because they're in big bowl schools right now when you see that right on the bottom a lot of times those fish aren't feeding I mean you might catch one out of them two out of them you want to find those fish that are suspended in that eight to ten foot range and then throw out there and catch those those fish are actively feeding if you're if you're throwing at them from this side you catch four or five and they slow down move around them go to the other side change your angle with your bait and you'll start catching fish again um, if you're setting your, if you're using a minnow and a float, make sure you set that thing just above the top of that school. That way it flows down, um, just over the top, they'll come up and, and smoke that thing. Um, nothing has really changed as far as positioning of the fish, depth of water. It's, they're still in that, that 20 plus foot range. They're still suspended down eight to 10 feet, but they are moving closer to the mouth of the creek. So if you, uh, if you, if you start looking on the, outside to the mouths of the creeks you're going to start finding a few fish several fish under boat docks if you can find some boat docks to fish don't forget to look at your brush piles there's still fish there a lot of those are still being caught on a i'm catching a lot on the wager baits um hair jig great bait uh they got the freedom pack and then when i can't get her to bite that i'm over on the on the um tackle hd pro swimmer and the monkey milk monkey milk has still been the best color for me um good if you get a big overcast day you can go to something a little bit darker say like uh like the eclipse color things like that the blue and grays the black and grays black and blues and you'll catch some more fish biggest key remember to keep it slow keep it above them and uh feel for that bite make sure you're feeling for that bite and light line other than that guys that's what we got for this week on the upper end of bull shoals lake um, we look forward to seeing you guys out there. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 417-251-2322. Um, or check us out on Facebook at Freedom Fishing Guide Service. God bless, guys, and we'll see you on the water.